Alright guys, so what's up though, finally back though today. Got a pretty quick um, Pokemon video I want to do it real quick. This is Zapdos episode, and I got the waiting for this. I'm going to try to push out this video as fast as I can now. The um, next couple weeks will be Pokemon videos. It's kind of a lot. Hopefully I'll try to make it a every other day thing. But yeah, I'm going to push out all these Pokemon videos the next couple days. Um, I know everybody's, I know everybody's always like, oh yeah, where's your anime shirt? Just a new shirt I had on. I'm just testing it out. I was like, you know what? I already have it on. Don't feel like changing. Good to do the recording anyway. But yeah, we got a pretty good, um, new episode and stuff like that. Jumping right into the review. Because some other stuff I want to talk about. I think Pokemon, also the Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield anime, is being moved, I think, Fridays now. Um, not every, not, I think it's like every Friday thing now. Um, for me, I think that's like Saturday, so Thursday. Um, probably Thursday is how Saturday, because, you know, Japan time, they're always a day ahead. Um, by the time I wake up, so the episode should be probably out almost every Friday, every Thursday. Um, again, I'll try to catch everyone's episode reviews as fast as I can, because all, all the other ones are done. I, again, I'll edit like that, but all the other ones are done. I might edit the one tonight. I was recording because it is Saturday for me, so yeah. Um, and not, not just a Sunday format like that anymore. I was gonna do another Spider Man video, but I was like, uh, there's, I mean, because he's in like, um, Dr. Trains is, is in the new Spider Man movie, if you're a Spider Man fan on my channel. And I was just like, you know what, I'm not gonna do it because it's not, not gonna be a video. So yeah, I'm um, jumping right in, but I don't know long enough. Let's get started. So yeah, of course, you know, go and actually, you know, join the dead. Beautiful, beautiful outlanding everything. You know, them enjoying, you know, them eating and stuff like that, typical stuff. Look like a freaking ball of rice, but now it's, so, um, like, like, um, um, like, um, a snow cone machine equivalent to their, um, world and stuff like that, and abominable stuff. I was thinking abominable snow, um, you know, um, kind of like, um, I got more of an abominable snow, um, you know, ice cream machine, um, a snowmaker and stuff like that. Of course, you know, Chloe would be like, what the heck is that? And, you know, I was going both going crazy and stuff like that. Um, you know, then, you know, it kind of feels self so working. Then they discovered an energy search going on. Of course, Professor Cerise, official dub name now. Um, you know, kind of informs the boys, um, you know, what's going on and stuff like that. As, um, the crazy lightning storm just kind of comes out of nowhere. Big lightning cloud kind of comes out of nowhere, nowhere. And, you know, go with his knowledge and stuff like that. You know, Lugia hunting. Um, they wanted to go and discover it and see what's going on. And they discovered it's Zapdos. Um, you know, they're raids after I'm kidding. Um, Zapdos, um, coming around. Um, because it goes, um, kind of sees the cloud and discovers it. It's like, oh yeah, Zapdos, a big gigantic storm cloud. So yeah, of course, you know, Zapdos with the lightning and, you know, it was, Zapdos always been lightning, you know, going on about it and stuff like that. Um, it's always been like that for Zapdos, you know, big lightning storm and stuff like that. Um, then of course, you know, they see and stuff like that, go once to catch it, of course, you know, Ash already on board and stuff like that, of course, he was going to catch it first. Then of course, lightning storm kind of moves around, it, it does kind of come up weird though, and completely disappears. Um, then kind of being just a point, you know, Ash's face and stuff like that. I love Chloe's faces, I, I love Chloe's faces, they're so awesome. I can't wait for her um, character development to come in, because I actually do like Chloe, or, you know, Carl, or whatever, however you want to pronounce her name. I actually do like her in the series and stuff like that. I want to see her character grow and improve. I really, I really love it now, I really want to see it, and especially in the dub now, I really want to see it, and stuff like that, so yeah. Um, yeah, of course, I was at this point walking around and stuff like that. And then it kind of, um, you know, I uh, noticed actually, <laughs> now I mentioned it, Chloe's up ahead. So, yeah, of course, you know, them talking about, you know, the crazy online um, and stuff like that. But asking, like, why she's there and stuff like that, of course. Then discovered another um, power outage and stuff like that. You know, another um, mysterious power outage, another electrical surge. And then discovered, you know, the same um, type of, um, you know, go, you know, his raid and modifier can, like, kind of discovering, like, um, Whereas after this and stuff like that, you know, kind of coming back a little bit and start coming around. It's like, oh, yeah, another raid event's coming on. Um, then, of course, you know, um, girl's like, eh, I kind of give up, uh, there's nothing, whoa, 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 you know, typical go funk. Then it's like, okay, let's just turn around and start again. Uh, him getting in the back of the mood, of course, and discover, you know, another, um, 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 I guess, um, power, power tower, oh my lord. Um, electrical tower, stuff like that, then going in and stuff like that. Then they discover Team Rocket, or a boot practicing, practicing, um, you know, um, Ember and stuff like that. Of course, they discover Team Rocket in there. I'm trying to find Zeptos as well, because, you know, I guess they discovered it as well. Um, then, you know, then probably trying to play it off, stuff like that. Rebu, um, discovers, I guess, a noise of sound coming up. Um, then there's Zapdos, um, they have some electricity from the power um, Okay, I'm back, though. Um, my recording crashed for some odd reason. I don't know why. It was going good. I went behind on this, so, oh, I gotta re-record. I gotta re-record this whole part right here, and I freaking hate it. But yeah, um, of course, you know, actually, go being super excited about the rocket hit as well. You know, girl's eyes opening up really big and stuff like that. Typical stuff for, um, Ash and stuff like that, of course. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good, though. Um, they're right here. Um, I, again, I just skimmed through all this. Sorry, ugh, man, I had to go through all this again. But yeah, um, of course, Pokemon they get for Team Rocket, um, they get Rhyperion, and not Hyperion, um, Rhyhorn. Oh my lord, I'm getting, I'm, like, I'm thinking the wrong one. Now Rhyperion, um, um, oh my, I just had the name for this. Oh my gosh, why am I studying on this? I don't know why. Um, of course, they get Stunfist, of course, they think it's all Wappy and stuff like that. Ash, you go get beat. Um, sorry about yelling right there. Um, 
And of course, you know, um, you know, them discovering yeah, yeah the ground types and like no shrubbers would be really effective, of course, like that. Team Rocket's like, yeah, well, we got the advantage this time. Yeah, actually, the time we got to win, uh, we got to win. But yeah, of course, um, typical Team Rocket self, you know, they did a good job and their plane goes black. They're just going um, Ash try to attack again. And of course, they get deflected again. And of course, you know, um, Team Rocket and Ash saw that. Of course, you know. Um, and go, they're like, oh, we can't really uh, do it alone, so we gotta work together for now. And no, a raid battle, so yeah, they're doing an array battle, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, of course, you know, that just like, oh, like, <laughs> it's literally like, I like that. Um, of course, you know, them, of course, you know, gotta work together and stuff like that. Um, you know, them go back and forth, doing attacks and stuff like that, of course, so typical little stuff for them, of course. Um, and them commenting on each other and stuff like that. Pretty good stuff. Then, of course, you know, um, Rabu, you know, wants to get back at it for being defeated a little bit. So, yeah. Of course, Ash and, um, of course, um, Go and Sola, Ash and, um, of course, no, Go and, um, of course, Rabu are going to go up a little bit more. Well, um, you know, Ash, Pikachu, Gang, get trapped, you know, because Team Rocket's like, okay, let's just double cross him again, blah, 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 blah. Typical Team Rocket stuff. Trap Ash so you can, um, you know, um, you know, not battle so bad and thinking they can win this time. Um, actually, I was kind of seeing that because Ash is like, eh, I can beat this guy really. Of course, Ash, um, Go and um, Rabu, of course, catch up to um, Zapdos. Flygon comes out. Yes, one of the boys from Spain squad for Go. Of course, um, Ash Pikachu, you know, they got their back against the wall, but it's like, okay, this time we're gonna win. Like that face right there, like this episode was animated like really well, though. Like that's got Ash face right there. It's really good. Of course, you know, going on um, Flygon going back and forth between them. Um, of course, you know, Go tried to capture it, but of course, bring up a Pokeball. Again, little typical stuff they always kind of go for, slash, like, you know, kind of break down, or whatever. Everyone pronounces it, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, of course, you know, Go kind of you know, being discouraged a little bit. Then, of course, you know, Ash showing up, stuff like that. You know, kind of the same day. Keep Go spirits up. Of course, Go's going to keep trying harder a little bit more. I don't know, because of the episode, why Go's kind of like going through his depression mood, but I don't know. I guess him trying to be a little bit more stronger, because, you know, Pokemon battles aren't really the thing. Catching is the thing. I think that's why it's going back and forth. Then, of course, you know, the typical thing, Rabu and Go, you know, kind of connect, so stick going up. They got a Dragon Meteor combo, which, I mean, it throws up that tells gets just freaking destroyed. You know, Ash Pikachu being kind of drained out from the last battle. Then, of course, Go actually captures it and stuff like that. You know, he did a pretty good job, so Go did almost literally catch it, but it, the lightning literally came out from the sky and broke it apart and broke the Pokeball. I love, the end, that scene, again, this end of the episode is really animated really well. It was beautiful. I loved it. It was amazing. And again, like, they did a really good job for this. Of course, um, you know, Lightning Storm kind of comes back up. Um, you know, Pikachu, oh yeah, um, you know, kind of drained out from the electricity. Then, you know, um, we all thought, oh yeah, Pikachu got killed! You know, came back up. I think it's supposed to be a callback to the, um, um, Spirit, not Spirit Saiyan, oh my god. I can't remember the episode. I think we're actually, like, you know, confirmed, like, oh, as a legendary. It's a, it's a Sano episode. Um, I think it's supposed to be a callback to that because, um, Ash, um, Ash and um, Pikachu had the similar problem before, you know, when Pikachu got struck by lightning, and that's back up to full strength. Because, you know, it's a, I mean, that happened before Pikachu has, um, shot up his, his, his electricity up to the sky and he came back more stronger than ever. This isn't the first time this happened. It happened in Sinnoh. It happened a couple more times. Oh, you know, you know, where electricity got fully drained, uh, got too much power, and electricity got, you know, kind of like, you know, messed up a little bit, though. So, yeah, it happened a couple times at Halloween. Um, of course, you know, Zapdos kind of, um, I think, um, Zapdos was kind of helping out Pikachu because it was drained. I guess, um, Ash and Go kind of learned all, 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 all the other Pokemon, or electric, electric type Pokemon, were kind of drained up as well. So it was like, okay, let's um, help them out a little bit more. I'm doing the electricity. So, um, you know, they were trying to help out the electric Pokemon. So, and of course, Zapdos ends up leaving. Um, go checking out Flygon, and of course, um, um, Rabu and stuff like that. Of course, you know, Zapdos kind of just really just trying to basically help out and stuff like that. Goes kind of discouraged that I couldn't really catch it. But yeah, at the end of the day, I did love this episode. It was really good and amazing. This type of episode I don't probably need to really review because there's nothing really coming up for that though. But I don't know. You guys love these things. I know you guys love the support for Pokemon. And you know, I try to upload this video as fast as I can and get them out as fast as I can. But yeah, again, you know, them, um, you know, for, for, uh, first as a reason, you know, you know, go and stuff like that, you know, being discouraged, you gotta catch it. But you know, it was a, you know, good phenomenon for them both and stuff like that. You know, go kind of catch it, but you know, it's a new experience for him. And discovering he just had to always catch up, you know, he's, he's not always going to catch a Pokemon like that on top of the dead. But yeah, of course, you know, them learning back and forth and stuff like that, that's why I kind of got out of this episode, which is pretty good though, of course, you know. Um, you know, go and actually, you know, because, um, you know, Scarlet's going to catch it next time and stuff like that, of course, but yeah. Of course, and, um, episode ends off on a really good note though. I actually do like this episode, again, it was really good and stuff like that, um, yeah. Um, and, uh, um, this image I got kind of right here, basically, it's going to be moved to Fridays and stuff like that, that's where I kind of got this image from. Um, again, I'll link the below so far that for you guys to see, though, so you guys can see. I'll link the Instagram below so you guys can see it, because it'll be, probably be on there. Um, you know, they always do, like, little stuff like this, you know, have, like, little backgrounds and stuff like this, you know, magazine covers I kind of like covering over for Pokemon specifically. I actually do like that myself. But yeah, they said it's going to be moved to, um, it's moving to Fridays, I guess, as a Friday celebration in Japan and stuff like that. Um, so, at times recording, again, it happened yesterday for me, it was October 9th. So yeah, um, you know, October, stuff like that, you know, big thing for Pokemon, whatever, however you want to pronounce it, stuff like that, so yeah. Um... 
Again, we moved to Fridays, I guess, from this kind of point on. I don't know if it's going to be every Friday, because it says right here, just because of the October and stuff like that. But again, if it's moved to Fridays, it's a lot easier, so I can get these kind of videos out a little bit more faster for you guys, so it'd be really amazing and cool. Um, they were here, I think it's another um, Japanese comic cover I kind of found up. So yeah, Leo, um, Ash, um, Go, and Sonya, of course, you know, them being, you know, brought up in anime, you know, anime episodes coming up and stuff like that. And I want to say right here was a special little clip right here of um, Lucario and Cinerace. Of course, you know, <laughs> Ashley really was going to evolve into um, Lucario. I think Ghost go, um, Red was going to evolve into Cinerace. It said it's right here and stuff like that, of course. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, fun images, stuff like that. I'm um, from like a, from the um, from the time recording, I did just kind of see it though. The um, preview, the um, news preview for the next couple episodes and stuff like that. Again, the Darkest Day arc is near the um, Darkness Day or Darkest Day arc. I. I, I said Darkest Day. Darkest Day arc will be in the end of October. So again, this episode. Hopefully, I'll have all these episodes reviews out by then. Hopefully, but yeah. Of course, we have the new um Pokemon Calendar 2020 um images right here. I actually meant to come over this as well. The official photos and stuff like that for Pokemon Journey 2021 calendar. Because I know specifically they said Lucario and Cinderace they were going to save them for next year. I heard that they were going to do that, but again, during the Darkest Day arc coming up, Darkest Day arc coming up, we kind of saw the evolutions via in the opening intro. I did do a video for that as well. But yeah, in the video of the um, episode and stuff like that, um, we did kind of see Lucario and well, that was just the opening specifically though. But we did see um, Lucario and of course Center Race. We did see them both in there, so they could be beforehand, they could be afterward. Again, these are just photos for the calendar and stuff like that. They're not actually in the anime. But it also was confirmed that um, the um, Joso, it was Joso, Helen, Yudaba, Carlos, Lola, and Galar. They were all confirmed, yo, you already know they're going to go back there anyway. Of course, Galar, because you know, that's where the arc is going to begin anyway there. Um, you know, Zamazeta and I think Zam... Something? I can't remember the, um, the story Pokemon's name. I know Zamazeta on top of my head. That's um, Shield Pokemon. Because I haven't played the games yet. I'm still kind of, you know, kind of, you know, leaning off a little bit there. But yeah, um, it was confirmed that um, also that um, Lucario and of course in a race, that's how I'm going to pronounce it until I get, you know, a clear pr pronunciation because a lot of people are pronouncing me on that. Um, they're going to be permanent walking partners because if you guys don't know in the Sword and Joe game, I'm not going to spoil it right here a little bit, but I'm going to kind of spoil it here. You can go walk with your Pokemon in that game. It's like, I think it's a little callback to Hard Gold and Gold Silver or Gold Silver where, you can, where your Pokemon can walk behind you. Um, these guys right here, they were both confirmed you can, they're going to be walking Pokemon. That's why they're out of their Pokeball constantly in the anime and stuff like that. Specifically, it was Riolu and I think Rabbit you know, such so score bunny. Um, they were walking with um, Ash and Go, so of course, you know, they're gonna be their main companion walking Pokemon for the whole series. So, it was confirming that there as well. So, that's why they're constantly other Pokemon stuff like that. So, yeah, could get some more photos right here and stuff like that. Um, I actually do love these photos because I saw these the other day and I was like, holy crap! So, yeah, again, I guess them going back to all these areas stuff like that. Yeah, Christmas right here. I love this part right here. I love that one right there. I love the lower one right here. Again, if you want backgrounds and stuff like that in the Halloween one, again, I probably end up picking up this calendar anyway. Or my sister or somebody's gonna end up picking up this calendar. Yeah. And that's pretty much the episode right there, though, of course. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Um, like I said, I actually want to end off with... I know put this image right here, actually. I end off with this. So, yeah. Um, you know, we gotta go something in the background. Everybody's wife right there, yeah. I'm um, good. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, again, I wasn't trying to make this video that long. I'm gonna a little bit extended with this, but again, I'll link all below for you guys for episode guide, for images, details, all that stuff, like I said, though. Yeah, so yeah, see you guys later though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great. Life. All good junk again though. Um, but yeah, I like it. So, what you guys say about the episode? I loved it. Animation. Um, it's, it's kind of going back a little bit to like older, you know, more shadier like designs, you know, them being fully kind of solid. I don't know, because the designs for the first, you know, when we first saw Sword and Shield, for the anime specifically, I felt like it was kind of unfinished a little bit. In some areas, it looked like it really was unfinished, but now it kind of going, I feel like we got more of a shading like thing with it now, because it's actually kind of looking like it's other, uh, journey, like it's other counterparts. Specifically from like his other series, because again, this probably will be the big mix up of every series in the one for a Sword and Shield anime, and I do love it. It's probably not called Sword and Shield, it's called Pokemon Journey, it's the official name and stuff like that. But yeah, it's weird though. Time's recording, I know it's probably in November, maybe it's coming up soon. It's a whole, it's been a whole year almost. It's been literally almost a whole year since the series has been out, and it's been doing amazingly good. I loved it, it's good, amazing. Again, a lot of effort, love with putting this and stuff like that. So, yeah, go ahead in here. See you guys later, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Oh, good job. Again, though, what do you guys think? I loved it. Amazing, amazing, amazing. See you guys later, though. Again, though, peace out.